We're working the latest developments on the controversy over Rhode Island's new tourism campaign. Governor Gina Raimondo's office is promising to take further action to address the public outcry over the new ad campaign and its slogan, Cooler and Warmer. And this after the campaign made national headlines and a top government aide was embarrassed in a radio interview. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi joins us now with more. The controversy over Rhode Island's new tourism campaign is not letting up. The new push was rolled out on Monday, but the new slogan, Cooler and Warmer, was quickly mocked on social media. Then it was discovered a promotional video for it included this footage of Iceland and that its accompanying website contained inaccurate information. The debacle is now drawing attention outside the state. It made the front page of Thursday's Boston Globe, and Scott Pelley mentioned it on Wednesday night's CBS Evening News. Tonight, some are calling Rhode Island Rhode Iceland. The problems have put Rhode Island's recently hired chief marketing officer, Betsy Wall, under scrutiny. During a series of media interviews on Thursday to defend the new slogan, Wall acknowledged she's never heard of Rhode Island's famed Gatsby Days, triggering more criticism. Now a spokeswoman for Governor Gina Raimondo is declining to say whether the governor still has confidence in Wall, telling Eyewitness News in a statement, quote, The errors were unacceptable. There needs to be accountability, and there will be. We are evaluating next steps. Now, one of those next steps could be a closer look at how the money is being spent on this $4.5 million tourism campaign. Documents obtained by Eyewitness News show more than $2 million of the money has already been spent, and Raimondo is asking lawmakers to give her another $5 million to spend on the campaign next year. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.